Today on Plain Simple, we're looking at airplane coordinate systems. Airplanes are three-dimensional machines. Um, and as such, uh, you, you need a way of measuring, locating components. Structures, components, cabinets, you name it. Uh, and you need to specify their location in the aircraft. Um, when somebody tells you go and find this battery pack, it's it's located uh, below left window number three, et cetera, et cetera. It, it can get complicated to to give a description of where things are located, especially when you're looking at a at a drawing, an engineering drawing that is a, a limited section, a limited view of a section of an airplane that you may not necessarily be able to understand what it is you're looking at. So there's a certain coordinate system to, to identify locations in the aircraft in a 3D space. Uh, there's three ways of locating three dimensions. There's four, three directions that are forward and aft, side to side, and up and down. Forward and aft direction is called fuselage stations. Um, fuselage stations. What those stations are, it is a number of inches. It is literally a distance from a reference point, a point of reference, called a reference datum. Let's say, if this is your reference datum, a reference point, this particular aircraft, the, the, the position of that reference point is arbitrary. It's um, assigned, it's defined by the engineers, by the designers, but it, it, it's irrelevant where in the airplane you want to locate it. It doesn't even have to be in the aircraft. In this particular airplane, and the reference datum is 144 inches ahead of the nose of the airplane. So that reference point is not even, doesn't even fall in the aircraft. The farthest forward point of the aircraft is at fuselage station 144. That means that it's that it it is the airplane starts at fuselage station that is 144 inches away from the reference datum, that point of reference. Beyond that, the farther back you move in the aircraft. You can see those numbers increasing. That is literally a distance in inches away from your point of reference. So when you see that when when you see a component that's located on fuselage station 381, now you know where in the airplane that's located. If it's 679, 699, etc., you know how far back in the airplane you're going. That is fuselage stations, different stations. Um, that have a number which is equivalent or it's exactly their distance away from the reference point. That will define a forward and aft location in the airplane. That fuselage station is where in the airplane it is located forward and aft. Now there is also left and right. Left and right is called I know, great artistic uh, skills. Uh, let's say that in, in this view we are looking through the tail of the aircraft, looking forward. Left and let's split the plane right down the middle. We'll call this the right side. We'll call this the left side. The left and right Let's say you already have a fuselage station, you know how far back in the plane you need to go. You got to the point, now you need to know whether it's on the right side of the airplane or the left side of the airplane, how far to the right, how far to the left. That is defined, that is called a butt line. Butt line, very much like a butt. It is literally called a buttock line. A buttock line, a butt line. It would be, and it's called right butt line for the right half of the airplane or left 
butt line for the left half of the airplane and that is also measured in inches inches from in this case your reference point is the middle of the aircraft which is butt line zero inches that imaginary plane that runs the length of the aircraft that splits the aircraft into that is your butt line zero from that going to the right you have a number of inches to the right that would be one uh, a right butt line at 1.0 that would be one inch to the right of center 30 or, or right butt line of 30 would be 30 inches to the right of your center line or vice versa left butt line a 30 inch left butt line that means you are 30 inches to the left of center that is butt line left butt line right butt line so many inches that will define right or left in the plane so you already have fuselage station giving you uh, forward and aft butt lines defining your coordinate positions right and left right butt line left butt line now there's also up and down that's the third dimension third position that is missing that up and down is defined as waterline waterline um, very much referring to old ship times where the water the, the farther the, the, the ship sank the water line came up higher now picture the plane being the, 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 the ship and that water line is coming up from the floor that water line will define the height in the aircraft the vertical position in the aircraft now that the origin of that water line does not necessarily have to be the floor it could be again an arbitrary line as uh, as long as it's defined where you're starting to measure from you can place that line wherever even outside away from the aircraft just like the reference datum for the fuselage stations sometimes some aircraft have that waterline reference zero in the uh, main landing gear axle some start from the floor uh, on an empty weight some start from the axle with a plane up on jacks and no weight on wheels some start from the aircraft cabin floor it's irrelevant where you start from as as long as you're defining what your starting position is and then you measure from there um, fortunately as a matter of fact let's go back to this picture where we have water line this here that is giving you exactly water line 97 Point five zero. That's ninety-seven and a half inches above your water line of zero. For example, here, window center line. These points here. Window center line is at water line one hundred nine and a quarter, one hundred nine point two five. That is also in inches. So the center line of the windows are located a hundred and nine inches above. A reference plane so right here you have coordinate systems where the location of the center for each one of the windows waterline 109.25 fuselage station 405.45 for this one and you can see what this one is and so on and so forth that is locating height and and forward and aft position of each one of those windows so that's what waterline is picture the waterline coming up you're not literally obviously you're not literally flooding the plane that is just a measure that's the name given to that vertical plane that locates things in the aircraft in the vertical direction so now that that completes the three dimensions you have forward and aft direction is fuselage station these are all measured in inches 
fuselage loss station starts from a reference datum and it gives you a forward and aft location in the aircraft. You have butt line splitting the aircraft in half down the middle being defined as a number of inches to the right of center, number of inches to the left of center being right butt line, left butt line, and then you have the water line which is defined as the plane a number of inches above your reference datum for your vertical position. That's water line, butt line, and fuselage stations. That's your three uh, dimensions or directions in the coordinate system. There is also another useful measure which is again this is we're looking at the fuselage of the airplane this would be your cabin floor there's another dimension here's the center of the aircraft this is butt line zero this is your center of the aircraft there's another useful dimension which is radio in direction it's a uh, radial direction which is represented by that that locates as reference um, uh, stringers sorry I blanked out for a second there's stringers that go from bulkhead to bulkhead from rib to rib and these stringers are are numbered in a radial direction from the center of the fuselage going all the way around and again starting from a reference position of butt line zero you have stringers going left and stringers going right and they are labeled stringer one right stringer two right three right four right etc defining that these are in the right side of the aircraft and starting from the top of zero you have one two three four five etc 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 and the same thing on the left you would have stringer one left two left three left four left etc going all the way around till you get to the bottom of the aircraft where you stop counting because you would your numbers would meet up again so you start from zero and start counting one two three four five all the way till you get to the center bottom of the aircraft here's a, a picture of what I'm talking about this is a see-through a, a, a cutaway view of the fuselage in the aircraft and starting from your center line which would be here this is your center line this is your butt line zero butt line zero and you would have stringers going from bulkhead to bulkhead spanning the length of the aircraft to the left and to the right and that is mapped out like this starting from stringer zero this would be your center line here starting to the right you have stringer one right stringer two right three right four right etc all the way well, in this case this here is stopping at the floor it's not continuing all the way down in the section they're stopping the stringers at the floor at the cabin floor here so this sheet this map that you're looking at is from zero going stringers going all the way across until you get to the floor in other words if you were to right here this is that same map starting from stringer zero to 18 left if you curved this to match the fuselage in the aircraft this would be the top center of the aircraft this would be the floor here's your windows these stringers here are these stringers here that is another useful dimension or, or, or definition in space in the aircraft you can locate antennas you can locate whatever and they'll tell you install this antenna and fuselage, sta fuselage station whatever number between stringers three right and four right now 
will locate the antenna exactly between one stringer, one stringer at whatever fuselage station they tell you. There you go. They just located, they just gave you a, uh, uh, an exact uh, coordinate, an exact location in the aircraft. So there you go. There's uh, four, and then there's more to this. The wings have their dedicated uh, um, fuselage stations or wing stations. The empennage has it, its own uh, coordinate system dedicated to that just because the uh, the reference planes are tilted and swept back, etc., etc., but it, it's all based on the same principles. Um, the same principle being locations on a certain number of inches away from a starting reference point. So there you go. Uh, to recap again, not to beat a dead horse, but to make it a, to drive a point home. Forward and aft direction is called fuselage station. Up and down height is called waterline. And side to side is called right butt line, left butt line. And then you also have stringers. Stringers in a radial direction. I hope that's, uh, that, that's easy enough to understand. Uh, like always, thank you for watching. I hope you find it interesting. I hope it helps somebody. And uh, yeah, this has been Plain Simple, and see you next time.